Hi there, I'm Chris and welcome to another tutorial. We will be looking at a feature of the free Elementor version in this video. And what we're going to look at is, is simply a design feature. It makes your website look pretty. It's an advanced design feature of Elementor and it's going to help you give your website a little bit of pop uh, once you've arranged the initial functions and design of your site. So let's have a look and I will show you what I mean. So you can see here on uh, this mock-up playground area of my homepage um, of my site, ironchrisgood.com, uh, you can see that we have defined sections. And in this section, we have a gradient background, which you can check out on another video. Um, and then we have these clear lines and, and more of a, a subtle sort of gray. But you can see we have these clear lines and clear sections. Now, a, a way to give that a little bit more of an oomph is to use what's called shape dividers. And it's really easy to use. So if we open the Elementor interface and you can see immediately that we are able to edit the page as you'd have seen in other videos. And once we have that selected, we want to go to the style tab and you can see that we have the, the gradients uh, that we're on the, we're on the background tab here and, and we're on the gradient and this is how we set the gradients. Uh, but what we want to do is go down here to shape divider and you will immediately see what this does. So there are two options, the top and the bottom, and we need to click on the bottom one, and this is going to change this divider for the shape. Um, and we simply do that by selecting the type and having a look at all of these different options. So if we click on mountains, and nothing seems to happen, but that's because I've been playing, um, you can alter the width and the height and you can see that ooh, we have all of these uh, funky images going on. Um, so you can see that looks quite striking. Now, please notice that we, we have these elements on top of the, the sections. So within the columns, uh, the, the elements are sitting there and it's above this background. So this is manipulating the background of the, of the section, which is pretty much at, like, at, at the bottom of the pile. And so what that means is that as we adjust the height, as, as, we, uh, as, as we change the height and the width, we actually have this cool effect where these are um, leaping off and, and that they're, they're looking like they're, they're um, overlapping all of these elements. And it gives the website an immediate sense of depth. Now, how you want to use this and, and present um, your, your elements is, is completely up to you. But, but as you can see, it's, it's very easy to manipulate and play with. Um, the flip function, you can see that that just literally flips it over. And then we have invert. That's something that you might think of more for Halloween or, or um, yeah, like Gunji children's sort of uh, websites. Um, quite immediate effects as, as, I, as I can imagine you, you, you would think yourself. Uh, you can see here that we're, we're uh, able to manipulate everything here. So uh, if we go to clouds, that's pretty nice. I used that on a client site recently. And again, you know, you're just able to, to mess around and, and see what you want to do. Uh, so have a play with those. Um, again, just do play with things like the, the height and the width and, and see what uh, seems right to you. Um, I will quickly say that if you go down to responsive mode and click on tablet, um, you'll see that it does apply on the on on the different on the different devices. So let's make this a bit more shallow, and then if we click back onto the desktop, you'll see that it retains uh, the selections that we had for the desktop, and and that would obviously also count for the mobile. One more thing I'll show you very quickly is that let's say this section was a different color. And so wh why don't we do that? Um, let's go global color and we'll, we'll make it blue. Okay, so that doesn't work well there, but this is demonstration purposes. So it's one of my global colors. Um, if we then go up and select this section once more and go back to the shape divider, go to the bottom, you'll see this color here. Now, at the moment, you can see that the shape divider is, is not, it's not overlapping onto this section. It doesn't look that funky. But what we can do, however, is change this color 
and you can see we immediately have that effect. Now let's alter the width and look at that. You're able to really interact with the section beneath it. Uh, the trick is to make sure that you have the uh, same color uh, bleeding into the next section. So that's kind of a, a, a section underneath. Okay, so have a play with that. Don't forget, you can also play with the top. Um, and I will just show you, let's change that to mountains. There we go. Um, and obviously you can, you can do what you wish. Um, let's go to pyramids. alter the width and you know you can get some pretty snazzy and fun effects going on there okay right i'll leave leave you to have a play with that um for any more tutorials please do uh, get in touch you can go along to imchrisgood.com and or message me on my youtube channel uh, i'd be really interested in answering questions and creating tutorials that you would find useful things that you're stuck with um and uh, wherever possible i will do tutorials on the free version uh, but also if you're stuck on something with the pro version of elementor which i do suggest you get if you want to get a whole bundle of extra features um, then do get in touch and if you're interested in the elementor pro version then uh, take a look at the link in the description of this video and and that'll take you along to the website uh, that is an affiliate link and but as you can tell i really love elementor i would only recommend something that uh, I think is really worthwhile. Okay, so design is at your fingertips. Go and play and have fun. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.